Hi, so I'm gonna teach you how to make a chicken, broccoli, cheddar casserole, and this is how you do it. So first you're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and then you're gonna cut up the um, chicken into bite-sized pieces, like this. Wait, so you're not gonna go get that? Huh? All right, and then this is your end result. After that, you're gonna season the chicken. You're gonna use Italian organic seasoning. Mine's from McCormick. And what you're gonna do is just go ahead, spread out the chicken, put this all over the chicken, all over. Okay. And then you're gonna. Mix them up like this with your fingers. Make sure that all the seasoning is on the chicken. Oh my god, this looks so good. So after you put the Italian seasoning on the chicken, then you're gonna go ahead and put the salt and pepper on the chicken. And so, then I'm going to add the salt and pepper. There's a freaking salt and pepper. It's like in my air, what? Oh, it's right here. Okay, so I use Himalayan pink salt because it's healthier for you. So just like a little bit. And then we're going to do some pepper. Okay. After you put the salt and pepper, on there, we're gonna go ahead and mix it up again. And, yeah, this looks so good. Make sure you get like all the seasoning on the sides. Then you're going to need a pan to put butter in. Okay, so then your chicken's gonna look like this. All seasons and prepared. We are gonna put a pan on the oven and get some 
butter out. I just forgot the sour cream. So you're gonna get the butter out and um let me see real quick. Okay, so you're gonna get the I'm sorry, I only made this like twice. Okay, so you're gonna heat the butter in a large pot over a medium heat until melted. Okay, so how much butter do we need? We need two tablespoons of butter to put in the pan. So we're gonna go ahead and put two heaping tablespoons. I'm gonna put two heaping tablespoons of country spread. And whenever I mean heaping, I need like like this. Okay, two. Okay, so we're gonna wait until that is actually melted. So we're gonna heat the butter in a large pot over medium heat until melted. Then we're gonna add the chicken and then cook it until it's golden brown. So it's on medium heat. And then I'm just gonna put this away. Awesome. So and then wait till it melts. Yeah, so I'll let this melt a little bit more and then we're going to add this chicken until it turns golden brown. I'm just going to go ahead and add it. Make sure that your chicken is bite-sized or else it's not going to cook right. You're going to cook it for about five minutes so that um, all the sides get like a little golden brown. Oh my gosh, this smells so amazing. Cool. If you want to take a look, you can go ahead and take a peek of what it looks like. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer for five minutes. And look, see the underside is already turning white. Like whenever you flip it, see, see all that? It's already cooked. Not fully cooked though, obviously. If you want, you can add another um, scoop of butter in it. I might in a second. Yum. It looks so good. I love it. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna, um, okay, so it's gonna take about five minutes to brown. We're gonna set this aside afterwards, and then we're gonna start with the chicken broth, olive oil, rice, um, 
We're gonna go ahead and bring that to a boil and then re reduce the heat to a simmer. And this meal is like really healthy for you. It doesn't have a lot of calories, has a lot of protein in it. I use, um, the main ingredients is cheddar, broccoli, and chicken, and rice, so. And um, you're more than welcome to use a low sodium, um, what is it called, um, chicken broth. That's healthier for you. Or you can also use, besides that, you can use the, um, the um, brown rice, um, the long brown rice. Um, but you need more liquid, more chicken broth to for that. So keep that in mind. And don't worry, my, my kitchen floor is clean. I just literally just mopped like 10 minutes ago. Oh, the chicken is coming out perfect. This is going to be great, honestly. Okay, let me go ahead and show you it so far. It is literally perfect. We're gonna wait till that gets a little bit more golden brown. Can't wait. So it's about one more minute. Um, I might give it a few more minutes. I did the first time I made this recipe, but we'll see. I don't know if it's because I'm putting too much chicken in it or like what. almost done. It has about 25 seconds left on it. Yes. Okay. So don't forget after this, we're going to um, separate the chicken. Um, Because we're moving set aside. Add chicken broth, olive oil, and rice and bring to a boil. So we're gonna go ahead and set this to the side. I'm gonna put this on for two more minutes. So go ahead and put it on for seven minutes instead of five. Just because I don't think that it's uh, golden brown enough for me. So we're going to add this to its own plate. We're going to separate it.
I don't know how much longer I should do it for. It said golden brown, but I'm Okay, so let's get out the chicken broth, olive oil, rice. I'm going to substitute olive oil for um, avocado oil. It's the same thing, but it's healthier. And rice. Tuna broth, olive oil, rice. So I think it's about done. You check it out yourself. Mmm. Looks so good. Okay, so I went ahead and separated that to its own separate place. Now I'm gonna add the chicken broth. Um, how much chicken broth? Let me see. So it is two and a, a half cups of chicken broth. So I'm working with um, a half of a cup. So two and a half would be. Thank you. Two and a half would be one, two, three, four, five. Five would be would be two and a half. And then um, one tablespoon of olive oil. I'm using avocado oil instead. long grain rice and we're gonna put um, one one fourth cup so I'm gonna go with a uh, one fourth cup so one and one fourth would be would be five of these Okay, so after that, we're going to um, 
we're going to cover it and then cook for seven minutes. Okay, so we're supposed to bring it to a boil. So we have to bring it to a boil first. Cover it tightly. So this is what I'm going to use to cover it tightly. I'm waiting for it to boil. Okay, so it says bring to boil, reduce to heat, cover tightly, and cook for seven minutes. So I'm gonna set the timer for seven minutes whenever it begins to boil. So it's starting to boil. Reduce heat to a simmer. And it says cover tightly and cook for seven minutes. Okay. Perfect. Okay, see you guys in seven minutes. So I told you guys that I might have to use more chicken broth. I'm going ahead and just pour in a little bit more chicken broth. Oh, it's hot. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the seven minutes are up, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the broccoli for you, for florets in there and then cook it for another eight minutes. See you in eight minutes. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry for not showing you. This is what it's supposed to look like before you add the broccoli. And let me show you how to pour the broccoli and then what it looks like after the broccoli. Sorry. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more oil and a little bit more um, chicken broth and some water. Actually, I'm just gonna add chicken broth and a little bit of oil, no water. Just drizzle on there. Okay, and this is what it's supposed to look like after everything's put in. Awesome. Thank you. See you in eight, um, eight minutes.
Okay, so let me go ahead and show you how to make the topping of, or like the crumble or whatever of the um, chicken broccoli cheddar casserole. So what you're gonna start with is you get a microwave safe cup and um, you're gonna get two teaspoons or tablespoons of butter. So, I'm gonna get a pinch of spread. One, two, Great, so now let's microwave this. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on for 30 seconds. Let's see how that works out. Okay, so we went ahead and, <clears throat> sorry. We went ahead and melted the butter. I ended up putting on on 45 seconds. It's scalding hot. Um, now we are going to put Ritz in here and uh, let's see how it works out. Okay, so I went ahead and put the whole package of crackers, or crackers in there, the Ritz. Oops. And then we're gonna go ahead and put them in the butter. Crush them all up. Try not to make a mess, because that is definitely what I am doing. Oh my gosh, those are so good. it's gonna get you can if you want it wetter then you can get add more um, butter I think this is great though it looks already mushing up the longer that you mush it up the longer that it will moist moisturize itself okay look as you can see there's like a whole like butter yes love it Okay, now we're gonna add all the soup parts to the casserole. So first we're gonna add in the cooked chicken, soup, milk, sour cream, um, and half of the cheese that we're gonna use, which is like one cup. We're gonna use two cups in general. So um, we're gonna start off with the cooked chicken and the soup. So here's the cooked chicken. Just gonna go ahead and Oops. Chicken noodle soup, you can also use cream and mushroom if you want. Cream and chicken. Okay, you're supposed to put um, how much milk? How much milk? Half a cup of milk and. Okay. So it's half a cup. Half a cup of milk. 
and then we're going to do uh, half of the cheese and um, four scoops of sour cream. Half of the milk, half of the milk, half of the milk, half of the milk. Okay, so yeah, half a cup of milk and then half of the cheese. It's ready for the milk, so now all we have to do is cheese. And honestly, we like a lot of cheese, so. I'm just gonna wing it. Okay, this is what it's supposed to look like. I'm so sorry, my ring light just cut off. Yeah. I'm going to go on the start. Okay, so I'm going to lightly grease the dish and then um, top it off with um, cheese and the um, crumble. Oh, actually, actually, I'm going to pour. Okay, so I'm going to pour it into the dish and then top the rest of it uh, with cheese and then cover, bake for 15 minutes.
Great, and so now I'm gonna add it to the casseroles. Okay, so I ended up making a mess and that's the end of the result. I am going to put cheese on it, then put it in the oven for 15 minutes at 350. I was right. Okay, so now time to put it in the oven. You have to cover it. Timer for 15 minutes. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you what it looks like after 15 minutes of putting in the oven covered with tin foil. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. So what we're gonna do is I went ahead and made the glaze. As you guys saw, this is the end result of the glaze for the topping. We're going to go ahead and just put this on there. If you want, you can add more. If not, you don't have to. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and make more. Okay, so after after you put on your topping, you're going, after you put on your topping, you're going to go ahead and put it back in the oven for, um, you're going to leave it uncovered for 10 more minutes. Okay, see you guys in 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Sorry, bleep or blooper. <laughs> okay, so this is her right before she goes in the oven for the second time for only 10 more minutes. Woo, can't wait. Oh my God. Hey, so um, I have nothing else to do while the casserole is baking, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a side. I'm gonna make mashed potatoes. So um, enjoy watching me peel potatoes. <laughs> So first you're going to get your potatoes, you're going to wash your potatoes like this, yes, yes, 
get all that grimy ass dirt out of there. Get an iron. What is this? No. Get a knife. I think that this is supposed to be used for it, but I'm not going to try it. Um, I need a small knife. Okay. I'm going to use this one. Oh. Cool. Okay. Can you all see? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's okay if it has a little bit of potato skin on it, right? Still has to boil for like 30 minutes. Oh gosh. Oh my god, I'm getting a potato everywhere. I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, she's slippery. Okay, cool. That was kind of easy. Oh no. be enough, right? My whole ring. Okay. Oh! I want to turn my nail. Okay, it's not worth it. Here's one. Okay, we're just gonna do it the fast way. So I literally almost broke my nail. Oh my god. My potato peeler. What the heck? I love that for us. This is ridiculous. I am not having fun Ugh, at all whatsoever. Oh God. Freaking killing. So the casserole has two minutes left on it. Literally slicing off like all the tomatoes. I would totally made more potatoes, but you know potatoes that Annie brought me. Oh, this one's easy. Okay, after this, then I'm gonna boil it for 30 minutes. Literally, if I cut off my finger, this will be viral. Uh. Oh my God. Okay, thank God. Okay, hold on. Okay, I need a pan.
pan to boil. Enjoy cooking, which I don't know. I don't know your life. How the casserole is done. Okay. Okay, where it is. Okay. Okay, we're gonna put her on high. We're gonna get the casserole out. Ooh, that looks so freaking good. Oh my goodness, guys. Wow. And this is the end result on the casserole i hope you guys love 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 thank you guys so much for watching i'm not gonna bore you with all my sides i love you so much please subscribe bye